Hello! Here is another video from Simply Studies. These videos help you understand the basics. For great scores, press subscribe now and visit our website. Coordinate Geometry In coordinate geometry, which is also called analytic or Cartesian geometry, we have these two axes, x-axis and y-axis. One x-axis is horizontal and y-axis is vertical. So whatever points are there are in this two-dimensional plane. And then whatever is the relationship between different points, this is what's explored in coordinate geometry. Uh, of course, there are three-dimensional coordinates also, and the third dimension is then z-axis. But normally that doesn't come in the geometric exam. Let's do some of the problems related to coordinate geometry. Here in coordinate axes, for example, this is O point, which is at the center. The coordinates are 0, 0. Points A are 2, 2. What does it mean? Let's see. It means, see, the x axis is 2 and the y axis is also 2. Okay, so x coordinate of point A is 2 and y coordinate is also 2. Now the most common formula used in coordinate geometry is the distance formula. So the distance between two points A, B is calculated by square of the difference between the x coordinates plus square of the difference minus uh, between the y coordinates and the square root of all this. Let's do these two points, the distance between these two points. So we can see here the x coordinates are 2 and 6. So it's 2 minus 6 whole squared plus the y coordinates are 2 and 4. So it's 2 minus 4 squared, which gives you 16 and 4, and that's 20 square root, which is equal to 2 root 5, which is the distance between A and B. That's how distance formula is used. Let's do another formula, midpoint formula. So if there's a, there's a line segment from point A to point B, and we want to find out where will the midpoint be. So the midpoint, the coordinates of midpoint are given uh, as the average of the points of x-axis and the y-axis. Let's see here the x coordinates are 2 and 6 so the average will be 2 plus 6 by 2 and the coordinates of y axis are 2 and 4 so it will be 2 plus 4 by 2 okay so this is 8 by 2 and 6 by 2 which gives you 4 and 3 which is as you can see is the midpoint of these two points uh, the x axis is 4 and y axis is 3. Okay, another formula is slope formula. If you want to find out the slope or gradient of this line, the formula is the difference between the y axis and uh, divided by the difference between the x coordinates, which in this case will be 4 minus 2. That's the y coordinates of these two points A and B uh, divided by the two x coordinates that is 6 and 2 gives you 2 by 4 or half so half is the slope of this line equation of the line this is the most common equation of the line y equals mx plus c where this m stands for the slope and c stands for the point where the line cuts the y-axis so let's see what's the slope here half and we have calculated it before so this is the equation of the line but we need to find out what is c here so what will we do we'll sub in any two points a or b let's sub in the values of the point b so x was 6 and y was 4 
if we simplify this we'll get c equals 1 so now the equation becomes y equals half x plus 1 this is the equation of this line okay okay y-intercept yes y-intercept was what is c so here as we know this equation we have already done this lines equation that is y equals half x plus 1 this 1 which is c is the y-intercept is the point where this line in, intersects the y-axis okay now there is some interesting relationship between the slopes in case of parallel lines the slopes are equal let's see how so we can see there are two parallel lines m1 and uh, a line 1 and line 2 for the line 1 the slope will be the difference between the y coordinates that is 4 minus 2 divided by the difference between the x coordinates that is 6 minus minus 4 that's 6 plus 4 so you get 1 over 5 that is the slope of first line similarly if you calculate the slope of the second line so it will be minus 2 minus minus 4 that's minus 2 plus 4 divided by minus divided by 5 minus minus 5 that is 5 plus 5 which gives you 1 on 5 we can see that the slopes of these two lines are equal both are 1 by 5 whereas in case of perpendicular lines the relationship is m1 equals minus 1 on m2 m1 we already know we have calculated it 1 on 5 for m2 we'll do the same thing that is the difference in the y coordinates minus 6 minus minus 1 that is minus 6 plus 1 on 2 minus 1 which gives you minus 5 so we can see what has happened in case of perpendicular lines the slope of the other line is the reci negative reciprocal of the slope of the previous line so that is 1 over 5 if you flip it you get 5 and you, if you make it negative it becomes minus 5 okay so this is all we did today the distance formula the midpoint formula slope formula equation of the line slopes in parallel lines and slopes in perpendicular lines okay that's all for today. Thank you.